I just love living by the sea. It's just a really beautiful place to be. I came from a council house and no money, which is fine if there's love. I knew I wanted a different life for my own children. I made sure I got home in time so I could feed them, put them to bed before I started to prepare for court work. I was happy and I'd achieved a lot. So 8th of September 2011, I made these 18 little meatballs ready for supper. And then normally I would go off running down the seafront. But I did something I'd never done before that night, and that's asked my 16 year old if she would exercise with me. And as we go down the stairs, I can remember feeling this whoosh inside of my head, and I collapsed. of brain hemorrhage and I'm in surgery through the night. My husband is told he should tell our daughters that mummy will probably be dead one morning. And I have no hair. I have a nine inch scar. I have 52 staples holding my scalp together and no one sits me down and said this is what we're going to do to get you on. My discharge summary didn't mention that I was paralysed, that I was blind, just said some inattention on the left. I thought there would be a team of people waiting to put me back together again. And the months go by. I feel completely alone, abandoned. And all I wanted was to be well, back running along the seafront. My mental health deteriorates. hiding in the dark and I picked up stones I started hitting my head with these stones because my stupid brain and I just wanted it over with they call the helicopter down and I'm bundled into this police car. Next time you want a bit of fresh air now, just go out in the garden, yeah? Which is probably one of the most humiliating things that's ever happened to me. I'm now so desperate, I decide to ring up the hospital saying, does it take families breaking up and people to kill themselves before you offer them an appointment? I've endured devastating situation which has caused me to lose my family and the job I loved. And I now know there are wonderful people who could guide, support, and just hold the hand of someone who's had a stroke and help them find themselves again. And that's what everyone deserves.